Hello coders and developers. It's a delight to have you at Guild Geekify Programming. My name is Saeed Kohansel, your guide in the realm of full-stack web development. In this video, I will teach you how to create a desktop application using NW.js. NW.js, previously known as Node WebKit, is a framework that allows developers to build desktop applications using web technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It combines Node.js with the Chromium browser engine, enabling you to call Node.js modules directly from the DOM. This makes it possible to create native applications with the full power of web technologies. NW.js is a cross-platform framework that you can use to build various types of desktop apps for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. At the beginning, let me show you a demo of the application we are going to develop. On the left side of your screen, you will see a game called The Cube running in Google Chrome. On the right side of your screen, you will see a standalone application that has run this game for us using Chromium. Very well, let me first explain these files and programs to you. I have considered an icon here for the application we want to build, which is in ICO and PNG formats. Here you see a program called Resource Hacker, which we use to change the icon of the executable exe file. And you can see a program called Enigma Virtual Box in this section, which we can use to convert the entire program and its contents into a single exe file. I will put the links to all these programs in the description of this video for you. And here I have also provided the latest version of NW.js, one of which is the normal version and the other is the SDK version. You can visit the website nw.js.io to download nw.js from there. Alternatively, you can also do this using npm and the terminal. Please note that I am using the Windows operating system, so I have downloaded the version I need. You should follow the same procedure based on your operating system. For example, if you want to develop an app on Linux, you need to work with the Linux version. Okay, in this step, let me show you the difference between the normal and SDK versions and let's examine them. As you can see, the SDK version has two additional files. Let's run the normal version. This version is intended for production use, meaning that when you want to distribute and publish your application, you should provide this version to your users. Now, let's run the SDK version. This version is intended for development. In this version, you have access to dev tools and view source, as well as other features. You also have access to these options when you right-click. Let's test some of them. Inspect Background Page option opens DevTools for debugging the background script of your app. Well, I recommend that you definitely read the NW.js documentation and design your app based on it. I will put the link to this documentation in the description. I can say that the first section you will deal with is the manifest format section.
Alright, to start we need to create a file named package.json to define the program's manifest. By defining the key name, I select the name for the package. The name of the package must be a unique, lowercase alphanumeric name without spaces. And here is the version of the app that I define. Now, as for the main key. Suppose I want to create a web application from this website. The main key is actually the starting page of the application. First, let's test this, and then I will explain further. Excellent, everything is working well. Now let's customize the app window using the window key. But before that, let me explain more about the main key. In this section, you can view the explanations related to this key. The value of the main key can be an HTML file, a JavaScript file, or a URL. Using this key, we can specify which file or URL should be opened when nw.js starts. By using the window key, we can customize the application window. The window key has various subfields. For example, I define a title for it. Then, using the position key, I specify the location where I want the application window to open. Next, I define a width and height for the window. Okay, now let's test this. As you can see, the new settings have been applied. Now let's remove the ability to resize the app window, which the resizable key allows us to do. Yes, as you can see, the app window can no longer be resized. Alright, let's go ahead and create a usable application and convert it into a single executable exe file. Suppose we want to create an app from this online game. First, I will set its address as the value of the main key. In this step, I want to set an icon for this app. I will place the icon file in a part of the program's folders. Then, using the icon key, which is a subfield of the window key, I specify the path to my icon file. Let's test it. Sometimes we might have cache problems. Yes, as you can see, the app icon has successfully changed.
Let me add some width to the app window. All right, in this step, I intend to show you how to change the icon of the executable file of the program. Assuming we want to publish this application, I will first transfer the files we created from the SDK version folder to the normal version folder. Very good, so this is the normal nw.js version and does not have access to dev tools and other features. To change the exe file icon, I use the resource hacker program, which easily does this. Just drag the executable file into it. And use the replace icon option to replace your desired icon. Note that the icon file format must be .ico. Finally, by clicking on the save option, as you can see, the new file was created for me. But due to caching, it still shows the previous icon. Let me show you. Very good. So far, we have successfully created an application with our own settings and requirements. At this step, I want to teach you how to completely convert the source code and contents of this program into a single executable exe file. I do this using the Enigma Virtual Box software. To do this, run the program and select your executable file as the input. Now, select all the program files except the input executable file and drag them into the Enigma window. At this step, just press the OK button. Enter the Files options and enable the Compress Files option to specify that the files should be compressed. This will significantly reduce the size of the final app file. Finally, click on the Process button. This process takes a few minutes, so I will speed up the video. Okay, it seems the app file has been successfully created. This new single file you see has a size of 145 megabytes. Now this file is ready for distribution and release. Additionally, your users have no access to the source code of this app. Let me set a new name for it. Well, it's time to run and test this app. This is perfect. Let's compare the size of the single executable file and the uncompressed version of the program. As you can see, the single executable file is 145 megabytes, and the uncompressed version is 392 megabytes. Let me point out that you can create an installer to deploy all necessary files onto the end user system. You can use Windows Installer, NSIS, or Inno Setup. So, in this video, we built a complete and ready to use application using the NWJS framework. Note that at each step, I have used specific tools that are all completely free. I should say that there are alternative ways at each step. For example, to create a single executable file, you can use NW Builder which is available on GitHub and NPM. If this video was helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit the like button. To stay connected and receive updates on my latest content, please subscribe and activate notifications. Your thoughts and feedback are valuable, so feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for your time and I hope you found this video beneficial.
with Not because I want this Don't try to stop me 